What's up everybody? This video is going to be a quick introduction to my 2021 NBA data set that I have built and will be using in upcoming videos. Um, this data set is completely free. Um, I update it every day to make sure that the latest games are included in the data set so that our sports analytics projects are always up to date. As far as I can tell, this is the most complete and only really free data set of its type out there. Um, and with just a few lines of code, I'll show you how to import it into your R session. And um, I'll explain to you sort of what the data is and how I got it. Um, so this video is basically designed to help you get started on your own sports analytics projects um, or data science projects. But of course, if you're interested in the topic and aren't really sure where to start, you should definitely subscribe to my channel because I am gonna be walking you through my own sports analytics projects. Um, and so I think we're going to do some really interesting stuff. We're going to cover things like building power rankings, player anal analytics, game forecast models, and I may even do a complete beginner's guide to our programming using this data. So if any of this sounds interesting, make sure to hit subscribe, um, leave a comment below, let me know what other sports you'd like to see me cover, um, and I can get started building those data sets as well. Um, so with that said, let's jump into the data set. So the first thing we're going to need to do is jump over into our studio. We are going to bring in the read R package, and we're also going to bring in the dplyr R package. And if you're not familiar with dplyr, R, go to my channel. I did a quick 15 minute um, overview of dplyr R and tidy R. I think it'll be really helpful as you guys are trying to follow along with my videos. Um, but the first thing we need to do is go over to my GitHub account. Um, if I can open up the internet here. If you go over to my GitHub account, and let's actually go back here. So my GitHub username is Matt C137. And so if you navigate to my GitHub, you can go to open data, data, sports, NBA. And if you scroll to the bottom, you will see NBA 2021 games.csv. That is the file we are concerned with. So click on that and that will show the file. Um, it's pretty big, so it might take a second here to load, but this is the file that I am updating daily. Um, and so once we make a connection to this file, um, all you'll have to do is refresh the data feed and it'll bring in all of the new games. So we're gonna click raw and we are gonna copy out this URL. And we're gonna write a variable called games2021. And we're gonna use the function read CSV. And we're gonna paste in that URL um, in quotations. And then we're gonna click control enter. And that is going to import the data, right? So it's that simple just to get this data into our R session. Um, and like I said, once this data set is updated, all you have to do is Click on this line, control enter, and you'll bring in the latest greatest data. So if we go over to our global environments and we click on this data, we can see, um, we, can get a, we can get a view of the data set. So the first thing I'll point out is that this teams column is very important. So, and why is it important? It's important because each game is listed twice. So we want it once listed from the perspective of the home team and you'll notice the home team if the home column has a one in it, and it's listed once from the perspective of the away team. Um, what we'll see in future videos is that the structure of your data is very important, and this structure of listing each game twice is gonna make working with the data much, much simpler. Um, so basically what's happening is in this example, we have Atlanta versus Orlando. So Atlanta is in the team column for the first row, Orlando is in the team column for the second column, for the second row. Um, so this, this data set, the games data set is basically pulling in and let's go to ESPN. It is pulling in data from the team stats tab under um, an individual NBA game on ESPN. So it is pulling in basically this table along with um, the quarterly box score here. And it's gonna be pulling in some of the betting data down um, below. So that's what the games data set is bringing in. Um, and let's take a quick look at it here. So I mentioned that each, te each team is list or each game is listed twice, one for each team. 
um, as you'll see, so the Q1, the, the, this column is showing the first quarter points. So we have one column for the team, which in this case is Elena, and we have one column for the opponent, um, right? In this case would be Orlando. So the columns that have the, the suffix for are always going to be related to the team. The suffix against is always going to be related to the opponent. Um, so let's take another look at this. Um, so another thing to note here is that the game ID is what is the unique identifier on ESPN. So if we go to ESPN right now, I have the Sixers versus the Wizards up. This is going to be the game ID that is the unique identifier. So if I copy this out and I go back to my data set and I filter my game ID, this will give us the Philadelphia versus Washington game. Um, and so what we can see here, actually let's go back to the internet. What we can see is Philadelphia took 87 field goal attempts and they made 41 of them. So Philadelphia is in the team column. So this line row one is from their perspective. If we scroll over, we can see field goal um, attempts for 87 field goal attempts made 41. Um, so that corresponds to the table that we saw on ESPN.com. Um, so the next point I want to make about the games 2021 data set is upcoming games, future games. So let's take a quick look at those games. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a view function. We're going to write games 2021. We are going to use the piping function here. So to do this, this is a function that is part of dplyr. You're going to hit Control, Shift, and M. That's going to give you this pipe. You're going to write the word filter. Um, and again, if you if this is looking for foreign to you, you can either Google it or you can check out um, my 15 minute video on dplyr and tidyr. Um, we're going to use the filter function, and what we're going to do is we are going to filter down to results equals TBD. Control enter. That's going to bring up this, this subset of data set in our viewer. And these are all games that haven't been played yet. So I'm recording this on 2.10.2021. And we can see that the first games in this data set are 2.10.21 because they haven't been played yet. Um, so basically everything, the result here is going to be TBD and all of the team stat data is going to be zeroed out. Um, right, so the next thing I want to focus on with games that have, have yet to be played is the betting data. So we want to filter down to games that are not NA, that, that basically don't have a money line. We, we want to filter down to games that do have a money line, excuse me. And the way we're going to do that is by using the not is NA function. Okay. And so we're also going to want to subset this data further because there's 87 columns. Um, we're not going to want to see every single column. And so the columns we are going to want to see, uh, we're going to use a select function and we are going to select date, team, opponent, opponent, um, line, favored, line, amount over, under, money line, money line of the opponent, implied odds, and implied odds of the opponent. So these are the columns we're gonna subset. So let's hit control enter. And now we can see all of these, all of this sort of betting information on these up and coming games. So you'll notice that not every single up and coming game has a money line yet because Vegas doesn't write money lines for this far in the future. So it's only games that are going to be tonight. Um, and we can see that, so we can see a couple things. So the first row here is Toronto versus Washington. The favorite team is Toronto. The line amount is five and a half. The over under is 231 and a half. Um, and we can see the money line data both for, for Toronto and for Washington. And we could turn these into a, an implied win probability. And that's what you're seeing in the implied odds here. So right now, this is showing that Toronto has about a 69% chance to win the game. 
Um, so I'm going to show you one more data set from uh, what I've pulled so far. Uh, there's a lot more data, but I'm just going to showcase one more set, and that's going to be the box score data set. So let's do box 2021. We're going to create a new variable. We're going to use the same function, read CSV. We'll navigate back to my GitHub account. And we'll go back to open data. So just a reminder, it's under data, sports, NBA. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom to the 2021 data sets and we're gonna pull in the box scores. So we're gonna pull in NBA 2021 box scores.csv. We'll give that a click. And this is gonna be even larger of a file. So we're gonna copy out this URL and we are gonna paste it in box. Okay, so yeah, so we have about 11,000 observations and 34 rows here. And if we click and we open this up, um, we can see that this is the box score um, of the game. So let's actually look again. We'll focus in on this Sixers Wizards game. So we're gonna copy out this game ID again. And we're gonna go to our box score data. We're gonna scroll on over. And there should be a game ID column. Yep, here it is. So we're gonna filter. We're gonna filter down to the game ID we've selected. And here we should see. Okay, so we're seeing Tobias Harris, Danny Reed, Joel Embiid. Um, and we can see how many minutes they play, the field goal made, field goal attempts. Um, which team they played for is a little, a little later in the in the data frame so so i should probably move that around but um you can see the team that each one of them played for you can see whether they played or didn't play and the reason um for that and the, and the reason for benching column um and then at the end it's just some metadata about the game so whether it was a home game um what season it, it was obviously in this case it's 2021 and the result um, of the game and so we're going to be able to do some interesting player analysis as well with this data because uh, this is a pretty robust data set so far and we should be able to do some some types of player rankings player analyses um you know see, see who, who's who's making their money and who's not um and so with that said um i will leave you all to you know, explore these data sets yourselves. Um, I'm gonna be posting more in the future. So this video is obviously focused on R. I'm also gonna be doing some similar videos in Python and um, probably the next video is gonna be just some simple exploration, some further exploration and manipulation of um, the games and the box score data sets. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe um, and I hope you liked the video.